it's probably like, okay, we tried it. Because I know Romeo tried to talk to Master P mm -hmm. a lot of times. He did, he did. And then it was just like, since you like everything to be public and you you like the only thing that you really want to protect is your reputation and how you look. All right, I'm going to go here. and Because I feel like even Romeo was still respectful. Romeo like he was. wasn't disrespectful nah. to his dad. He just like, yo, look. You acting like it ain't what it is, and this is it, man, and I'm, I'm tired of this. I feel like Aoki and Kimura is just like, destroy, destroy, destroy. Like, yo, that's still your father. And even how Kimura even went in talking about how she married him when she was 16. I probably was too young to do this, and he was 33, and that's true. You was too young, but you gonna bring that up right now? Mm -hmm. Every story got three sides. I felt like we don't know what he said. And now social media users, they weren't buying it either. So they accused Russell Simmons for every. They believe everything that her mom and her are saying. Not saying that they shouldn't, but they should see what he got. And that's the thing I'm saying. They should, say, they should wait to see what he got to say. I just think it shouldn't even be online. It all started when Aoki exposed text messages and FaceTime calls between herself and her father, accusing him of being verbally abusive. She further exposed more details in a live video that she made explaining and complaining of the drama that has been ex in existence for years since she was 15, which is totally unfair. She strongly says that her father has been bullying and calling them all sorts of names, like her mom being a piece just for speaking out against him and taking sides during a lawsuit. She opens up about her father making crazy and out of control posts and also threatening to mess up her career. As for threatening, he seems to have hyped it up as she reveals that he sent someone to threaten her sister at her house in the middle of the night. She continues to emotionally explain that although she and her dad used to be so close, he has completely changed in recent times. Some of us do think he's mentally ill or experiencing a like dementia, she wrote in another story. He really acts like he hates and doesn't know children frequently. <sighs> He sent someone in the middle of the night to like take her some papers to like sign away her inheritance or whatever. And then she was like, should I be signing this? And I was like, what? He like sends people to threaten her. Back up her accusations, Ayoki posted a video of Russell appearing to yell at her over FaceTime to her Instagram page. She wrote, this is not someone who will accept help, adding, this is just one re screen recording. Sorry, I don't always remember to press record when he calls my friend, my boyfriend, anyone to get a chance to threaten and curse and go crazy she wrote she also shared screenshots of text messages between her and her father to instagram in which he called lee a piece of ass and accused her of stealing his money this is just enough and is reason as to why she's coming out she feels like she needs to address this because she has been so silent for a long time and since silence has probably not worked out you know i will release the whole thing i'm proud of how i behaved i've asked for space or for boundaries i said please don't post pictures of mom when you guys are disagreeing it's like taunting her please don't post random baby all these accusations are strongly grounded as her mother lee comes out to accusing simons of being abusive towards their daughters she accuses her ex-husband russell simons of threatening their children saying leave my kids alone she wrote this narrative of attacking the only caregiver the only parent in the home with the kids the mom and the kids for one's own shortcomings and embarrassment is dead 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 please don't attack my children they've been through so much she also accused him of being abusive to other women in his life the same abusive ish of she wrote this is how you maneuver with the all women around you your threats and lies and intimidation maneuvers and tactics are sad stop it please your own flesh and blood enough is enough she additionally took it to her own Instagram story to share details behind the family tension when she lobbed serious allegations against the father of her two children, Mingli and Ayoki Lee, via her Instagram. She wrote, We won't be bullied, threatened, or afraid. She added, I'm so sorry to have to do this, but this man has been threatening my kids' lives. I'm hearing so much more now. We won't be bullied, threatened, or afraid. Whatever was the cause of the rift between these two is unclear because they sometimes back seemed okay with each other until the split happened.
just to rewind our tapes a little bit, these two were married in a civil ceremony in Manhattan, New York on December 15, 1998. They however announced their split in 2006. Simone said he and Kimura had already been separated for some time, but they would continue to remain as committed parents and caring friends with great love and admiration for each other. Lee officially filed for a divorce in March 2008, citing irreconcilable differences. The divorce was finalized in January 2009, and they off and they appeared to maintain a good relationship after their split. As Simons remained a part of Lee, Ming, and Ayoki's lives after they parted ways. Lee began dating actor Demon Honsu and later revealed she was pregnant with Honsu's child. Simons was supportive of the relationship, saying. Saying, he's a wonderful guy a very sweet guy i want her to be happy no matter what he told people however things have since turned sour in may 2021 it was reported that simons was taking lee and Lizzo to court accusing them of fraud he claimed lee and Lisa's conspired to frequently transfer four million of his shares of the energy drink company celsius to their accounts in order to pay Lisa's 44 million bill from a 2018 money laundering case in which he pleaded guilty lee filed a countersuit against simons in july and he was ordered to pay lee over one hundred thousand dollars after a judge at los angeles superior court ruled in her favor and this has got us thinking whether it is the reason why these two have been at each other's throats because simons has been known to be a good character by his children and some of the circles around him but all of a sudden he turns into this cold emotionless person however it is not just the mother and daughter making these abusive accusations as a number of women have come up to reveal that simons was abusive towards them so allegedly the powerful figure simons used his position to prey on multiple women for many years but exposing himself i thought he was like this tragic edd puppy dog that i just had to keep training she says simons would apologize then back off for a while before repeating the process which she thought would end as she moved up within the ranks of deaf terms at one point he invited her up to his apartment under the pretense of ordering a car there he told her he had a demo she should listen to and offer she described as catnip for me and said it was in his bedroom cd player the next thing i know she says he's naked wearing a condom and he just just grabbed me he just grabbed me and he just threw me on the bed and he wrestled me to the bed and pins me down and I'm fighting and I'm saying no he's telling me to stop fighting in a very cold menacing detached voice that I never ever had from him before I was reduced to nothing in that moment she says I was nothing I was trash I was some physical thing he utilized for his pleasure he, she remembers going back to death jams for some meetings with Simone's once asking her to sit on his lap before she quit another victim sherry Shah, founding member of the rap's all-female hip-hop group mercedes ladies approached simons to be their manager one night he invites her to his new office where she thought they talk about the group's future the next thing i know i'm pinned down to the couch he that he had he had and i remember i kept saying what are you doing get off me she continues it happened so fast he just had his pants down and he just took 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 what he wanted while she told her sister and her friend still lie abrams a writer and activist was a model before becoming an artist at Def jams she was socializing with simons when he made a pass at her and she buffed it as she was dating another man at the time he said that he understood but as days turned into night she grew increasingly intoxicated while he remained sober abrams says he convinced her to return to his place to sleep it off there she then says that he raped her when this she despised all her efforts was no longer able to physically fight him off i opened my eyes and he was walking towards me and he's naked except he's wearing a condom i kept saying no 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 she adds and then he raped me and i couldn't fight it i couldn't do anything i just lay there alexia norton jones a writer says simons invited her to his apartment one evening and suddenly here i am and he has pinned me down she says that anybody could swiftly and forcibly penetrate me while
while actually while i'm saying no he took a piece of me with him when he did this and he carried it with him and he carried it with him for three f decades kelly Cotton says she thought of simons as a hangout peer through their work in the music business i felt safe with him she says he pushed me into the door in through in into the door and pushed me down on the ground he wanted to physically dominate me and raped me i kicked really really hard and i f screamed and i just went to the door and he like let me go Tina Baker, also once managed by Simons, sometime back came forward saying, I was absolutely shocked and taken aback and I froze. I think of it as that feeling that must happen when you think that you're in a plane and it starts to go down that no, 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 this is not happening. Another anonymous accuser whose voice was even reenacted to protect her identity says she bonded with Simons over yoga and especially topics he's written inspiration books about. He put his knees on my legs and pins my hands down she says i pushed him off of me and i was like what the f are you doing what the f is wrong with you kerry clauson kaligi says it was just so out of the left field she says i remember being shocked to the point where i thought it was a joke i remember fighting on the bed because i didn't want his pennies in me i had to do some dark nights of the soul to walk through this layer of shape are all the accusations really true or akimura and and Ayoki right for coming up to the tabloids and spill the unknown facts to the rest of the world? Is Simone in a fit of rage or is he really having a mental breakdown or illness like his daughter suggests? Or rather is his true identity being revealed as his mask spills off? Regardless of the many questions and few answers, fans feel like he's just a hypocrite that is finally revealing his true identity as one fan comments saying, I am ready for Russell Simons and Diddy to get exposed like Ara Kelly. Enough is enough, these men are sick and have done horrible things to minors and their own kids. Another one sympathizes, this is terrible and sad. People think kids of celebrities are so privileged but don't know what they are going through behind closed doors. I'm, I'm praying for this baby. Another one encourages her saying, by doing this she may be saving her own life. I believe her. And another user writes, having children with a nurse's person will cause your children a life of pain, self-doubt and insecurity. I feel so bad for her. We believe you girl. What is your opinion on all these accusations that are swaying back and forth? Don't be left out. Please share your opinion in our comment section and please don't forget to like this video video, ring the bell for more updates on the unceasing drama of your favorite celebrities.